Thanksgiving is a beloved holiday in the United States, and we celebrate it every fourth Thursday each November. But why is Thanksgiving so significant and why do we celebrate it? Let's take a closer look. The first Thanksgiving is commonly traced back to 1621 when a group of English pilgrims who had settled in Plymouth, Massachusetts, shared a feast with the Wampanoag people. They gave thanks for a successful harvest and help that they received from the Native Americans. The feast, however, wasn't actually called Thanksgiving. It was a more of a celebration of survival and cooperation between the pilgrims and the Native Americans. The idea of a national Thanksgiving holiday was promoted by Sarah Haley, or Hale, who is coincidentally the woman who wrote the song, Mary Had a Little Lamb. She advocated for it to unify the country. In 1863, President Abraham Lincoln declared Thanksgiving a national holiday during the Civil War, setting the date as the final Thursday each November. It's important to note that Thanksgiving in the United States is not just a religious holiday, but it's for a moment for us Americans to sit down and appreciate the things that we have in life, big and small. However, there's a caveat. Right after Thanksgiving, <laughs> Black Friday, we all go out and buy things we don't need. <laughs> so as an African American, I personally feel we have our own traditions that we practice because of slavery, the history of my family being forced to be brought here. We uh, have something in America called soul food. And soul food amongst the blacks here in the United States is very, very popular. For example, chitlins. Chitlins is something that I eat. Basically what they are are pig intestines, okay? So you clean them, you know, and then we also, for example, pig nose, you know, pig knuckle, pig tail, etc. A lot of these dishes are quintessential soul food dishes coming directly from the South. This when our ancestors were enslaved, we had to cook and clean for the people that enslaved us. What we would have to eat are the leftover things that the people who enslaved us didn't want. So those were the intestines, those were the feet, those were the tail, those were the nose. And you know, we had to make do with what we could. Um, and so what we did is we turned those into our own dishes and we made them nice. And pick knuckle, pick tail, pick feet, etc. Things that I have eaten and all over the world, things that here in the United States are probably for many Americans is repulsive, you know, um, but around the world it's celebrated. So you go to Germany, you can have pig knuckle and everything. Okay, listen, we look, Germans, you guys get an invitation to the barbecue, okay? Bring the pig knuckles, they'll be really welcome at my Thanksgiving dinner. <laughs> Why do Americans love their turkeys? Turkey has become the iconic dish of Thanksgiving dinner. And while it wasn't the main dish at the first feast, it became associated with the holiday over time due to its size and availability in the United States. And every single year, I think the White House, the president that's sitting in the White House, saves 20 turkeys or so um, from death. <laughs> so to recap folks, it's a time for Americans to come together, be thankful for what we have. It's a time of celebration, family, and unity. And as the United States transitions, um, we're going through many transitions, not just a political transition. We need more unity. We need to be thankful and we need to be grateful for this country that we have. And uh, yeah, I thank God that I have a place to live. I thank God that I have true friends. I thank God that I have experienced true love. I thank God that I now am okay with being gay. I'm okay with being who I am. I'm okay with being the only African-American in spaces sometimes, I've learned to be okay with those things. I'm grateful for the lessons that God taught me to get me to the point where I can be okay with some of these things, you know? Life is not easy for anybody. Life is hard and we're all trying to make it. I have my problems, you have yours. Thanksgiving is a day for us to come together and say thank you. And I am thankful to all of you, each and every one of you who watched this video, honestly. This channel has given me a chance to connect with various people in various parts of the world, and I have learned so much from you all. I love doing culture exchanges, speaking with you on a different, different languages. All of us are growing together. So I wanna say I am thankful for each and every one of you, um, and I look forward to growing in the future, okay? So see you next week. Happy Thanksgiving.